Hey, what's up, guys? Today we are playing the latest DLC for Roxy's Pinball Panic. This is Tabletop Terror. And so, right now, we're just doing um, basically viewing the table here. So, this is an interesting theme because when you think about actual pinball tables as well, a lot of pinball games are based on card, on card games. There's even been. Um, I remember just recently looking at a Gottlieb game that was based on dominoes. So it's very uh, common in pinball to have a lot of uh, their themes based on tabletop games, card games, even, um, you know, chips here, poker, right? I think, yeah, there's even a chess game that I can think of. I don't remember from what manufacturer, but I know there is one. There's a chess one. Um, so it's very common and I think this, I think this, um, DLC here is, you know, putting together a lot of board games in one, which I find really cool. Um, I actually don't remember what these, all these, uh, referencing to, but these little dudes here standing up, I, I don't know what the game is called. Was it called Sorry? Or something like that. Um, this little like, what is this little thing here? Ah, man, I wish I played more tabletop games. Uh, I think those pigs are from Sorry, aren't they? But you see here on these uh, extra playfields, these pigs, right, act like uh, like pachinko pigs, which is pretty cool. You also got some rollover buttons. See that? Um. We got some checkers, of course. Cards. You gotta have cards. But yeah, you know, speaking of uh, board games, I I'm not familiar with a lot of them. I remember playing them a lot as a kid. Monopoly. I think I played Candyland, Life. Um, I'm trying to think ones that come to my head. But I, uh, you know, I think there was. Uh, I played ch uh, checkers. I never really got into chess. Um, I played a lot of a game called Yahtzee. I played Sc Scrabble a lot with my grandma. Uh, Yahtzee and Scrabble were like one of my favorites. And uh, this was before, you know, I mean, I think by the time I was playing that, I know that there was still PlayStation and there was consoles, but... I um, it was kind of something that I, I enjoyed doing before, you know, um, social media really took place. And it's, I, I kind of wonder how, you know, are board games today still that popular? Because, you know, they're great when you want to have some family time, right? You, you go to the beach. I remember playing Monopoly a lot when we'd go to the beach uh, to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. Um, you know, just bringing your... Uh, some board games with you and books so definitely a lot of memories here look at that what is that what's that looks like a bouncy ball or something so yeah let's give this table a go here i'm liking what i'm seeing here with these these chess pieces it looks like they might be drop targets and these little things are these bot bumpers or stand-up targets let's go here let me Start this off. Load up. And check this out. You have buttons instead of a plunger. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love the uh, animations and the cards. How they kind of flip a little bit. And you can see that they're back. I can't even remember the last board game I played. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so it goes back to the plunger. Interesting. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't think I've seen a... I can't think of a table where, like, a railway, a rail, goes right back into a plunger. That's actually pretty cool. Also, I like the um, how half one side of the flippers is like 
gray, black. The other is like a like white beige color. So you definitely get that, you know, checkers theme going. I mean, chess theme, sorry. Oh, this is cool here. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Um. One more. Let me get that other one here. This is kind of interesting, too. You see how there's, like, two sets of flippers, right? It's almost like you're playing, like, a board game itself. That's what it feels like. Oops! Oh, that's cool. See that? Goes back right to plunger. Kick back. <clears throat> Let's oh wait a minute, what's going on with these these dominoes here? They're like switching. Does it go next ne okay let me get this domino here. Let me try to. Yeah, okay. That's pretty awesome. So you knock one down, and then the other one comes up. I don't believe there are any uh, pop bumpers on this table. <clears throat> Which is all good, because um, you can definitely have a pinball table without any pop bumpers. But you know me, I won't lie, I love my pop bumpers. Oops. At least I don't think there's any pop bumpers on here. Let me get the. J oh, you know what this part reminds me of, too? Uh, oh, you can also go back to plunger regularly. That is awesome. These upper play fields with the pegs. Remind me of the Indiana Jones table. Ooh, I got an award. Smash the targets on... I got an award. I couldn't read it all, though. King me. <laughs> King me. Knight me. <laughs> I like these little things here. You know, what this table also reminds me a lot of is Donna's Casino. I'm getting a lot of Donna's Casino vibes. Donna's Casino was uh, also one of my favorite like DLCs. Let me get that last gem. Got it. Okay, so these, these only reset when you complete them all. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go topple the pawns. That's also, I want to say something interesting here. You see this middle upper play field? How the ball can just drop down from that ledge without needing to be dropped down from like a ramp. Very interesting to me, the way that works. Because you think about how you can have balls kind of uh, transport between like upper play fields, right? Upper and lower play fields. It's like usually some kind of, you know, ramp or... Uh, up kicker or um, scoop 
but when it just falls directly from that, it's pretty cool. Oh, no, no kickback there. So overall, I would say this is a solid DLC. Um, especially if you enjoy uh, tabletop games. <laughs> that noise it makes. Ram, ram, ram. But actually, this this part here is so like kind of like therapeutic. Oh. Hmm. Different angles here. <clears throat> oh, that was awesome. Also, too, I think when you um, when you hit the the card spinner spinners, it sounds like someone is breaking cards, which is a nice touch. Oh, where did that ball go? Also, what's neat too is from the plunger, you have like a little curve, uh, which kind of feeds right back into the uh, in lane, which is cool. Instead of, you know, from the plunger, it's just going straight to the top and then curving. It's like a little tiny curve. <laughs> I love that. Bluff. 